Hey guys, welcome along to another Sheetify CRM and Sheetify bookkeeping tutorial. Today, my focus is to show you how you can generate quotes using our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit. This is a new feature that we recently added to Sheetify bookkeeping 4.0. Now, if you're new to our Google Sheets bookkeeping and CRM templates, what I'll do is add relevant tutorials down below in the description to help you learn more about each of these toolkits. Now, jumping back into our Sheetify bookkeeping template, today we're gonna to be focusing on how you can generate a quote, similar to how you can generate an invoice. If you're interested in learning how to generate an invoice for your business, using our Google Sheets bookkeeping template, then I'll add that tutorial down below in the description. Okay, so let's dive into the quote generation tool that we added to our Sheetify bookkeeping toolkit. If we navigate over to set up Sheetify, make sure that you have the correct currency selected. Then all we need to do is navigate up to Sheetify, then come down to set up quoting and click on set up Sheetify quoting. Give Sheetify bookkeeping a moment to set up this feature. Then no matter what sheet you're in, you'll be taken back to setup. Then simply scroll across and locate invoice settings. This is where you can set up the invoice generator. However, today we're gonna to focus on quote settings. Now down here, the only manual thing that we need to do is add the quote template ID. Simply jump into the folder that you use to access Sheetify bookkeeping and you should be able to see this quote template. What you wanna do is navigate up here, click on more actions, and then make a copy. And that's gonna add a copy of this quote template to your Google Drive. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and click on make a copy and make sure you add this copy to a different folder in your drive. Then simply open up that template. And as you can see, this is the quote template. I'm going to add my business name, then add your business address and your website down here. Then you don't need to touch any of this information or this information down here. However, what you do wanna do is navigate down to other details and add your quote details in here. For example, this could be your business details, maybe even payment details, or links to different locations on your website. Then navigate down to terms and conditions and add your terms and conditions down here. And that's all you need to do in terms of customizing this template. Then what we can do is start generating our invoices. And that's going to use this template that we just customized. Simply navigate up to the search bar and copy this ID here. So next to docs.google.com document, then D, you can see this code after the forward slash all the way to this forward slash next to edit. Simply copy this, come down, copy, and then head back to Sheetify Bookkeeping. Then all you need to do is come down to quote settings and under quote template ID, paste in that ID in here. And that's it. Then if we navigate down here, you can see this folder. This folder, you can find it inside your Google Drive. And this is where you can find all your quotes that you generate. Then below that, you can see we have the quote form link. This is the link that you can fill out in order to generate invoices. Again, this is automatically added to your Google Drive. Let's go ahead and open up this form. Then to generate a new quote, go ahead and fill out all this information. Quote number, quote date. This is the quote number. I'm going to add the quote date today. Then the due date, add the first name and last name of the person you'll be sending this quote to. Then navigate down and add the company name. Then navigate down to street address. Then the potential customer's phone number, their email. Then add a discount if you like. For example, $50. Add the unit name. For example, website design service description, then add the unit price. Now the discount and the price is in dollars. That's because the currency that I set on Sheetify bookkeeping was in dollars. So again, this depends on your currency. Then you can add unit two, description two, price two, and then unit three, description three, depending on how many things you're quoting for. Once you've added all these quote details, simply navigate down to submit. And as you can see, new quote, your response has been recorded. Let's navigate back to our Sheetify bookkeeping. And if we navigate down to our form responses, you can see the form responses here. If I navigate down to form responses, I can click here and rename this to quotes if I like. So here's the first submission. You can see the timestamp as well as all these other values. Now let's navigate back over to setup and under quote settings, let's click on quote folder URL and open this up. And that's gonna take us to the Sheetify quotes folder where we can find all the quotes that we've generated. And as you can see, this is the quote that has been generated. We have the quote information here, 
like the quote number, quote date, due date, and then we have quote two, all this information has been generated, as well as the unit name, the description, and the unit price, as well as the discount down here, and then the total amount quoted. Now in the next update, what we're going to do is add the option to add a tax. Therefore, you'll see subtotal, discount, and tax, which you have the option of adding. That's going to be for both our quote generator as well as invoice generator. However, that is how you can simply generate quotes using our Sheetify Bookkeeping Google Sheets template. If you have any questions about our quote generator, make sure to pop them down below. Also, if you're interested in learning about all the different features that our Sheetify Bookkeeping and Sheetify CRM have to offer, then check out the description for more details as well as dozens of helpful tutorials. However, that is it for this Sheetify Bookkeeping tutorial. If you got value, make sure you subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.